Hi, my name is Matt Blyle with NetSuite. Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Analytics pre-recorded demonstration. As an employee of a fast-growing $20 million company, I am tasked with finding out why revenue spiked in Q4. This will enable management to understand why we were successful, so they can make better decisions and grow the business. As always, the decision makers need the information yesterday. While the monthly reports out of NetSuite have provided me a ton of visibility, I now need a faster way to go beyond the reports to where I can not only understand what happened that month, but also figure out why it happened. With already successful products in the market and plans to release more products over the next two years, our CFO expects to increase our revenue growth over 30% annually. Understanding the root cause of why our revenue increased would arm our CFO with the knowledge she needs to properly invest in the right products at the right time and expand to the right regions. Looking at my dashboard, I can see there's been a big jump in revenue in Q4, and I want to understand what's driving this increase. So let's click into Suite Analytics for a more detailed view. Just like the capability of native NetSuite reports, I can create workbooks for any data point in NetSuite. And with the power of the unified architecture, Suite Analytics allows me to easily create reports that pull data from different records. At this point, I've identified through my reports that sales have increased, and I want to get to the bottom of what's driving that change. Next, what I'll do is look at the charts and pivot tables I created and add various dimensions to them to help me understand what is driving my increase in revenue in Q4. Starting with the chart I created, I can easily see we had a big jump in sales from Q3 to Q4. But I want to take a closer look to see what companies are performing the best, to then determine what markets we're selling into and what products we're selling that's driving that change. To further modify my pivot chart, I can add any dimension listed below, and these are defined based on my search results. So right now, I'm looking at my global sales, but I want to further break this down by the companies and markets I'm doing business in. Now that I've added class, I also want to break this out by my subsidiary dimension, but I don't have that field currently listed. To get that dimension available to my pivot chart, I need to add it to my search results under my data tab. One thing I really like about Suite Analytics Workbook is how easy it is to modify any of these results and then add that field to pivot any of these reports off of. You can see that subsidiary data point that I just added is immediately available, so I can drag and drop it to my pivot chart. By adding multiple dimensions to this report, I can now easily identify that United States West location has performed the best. And adding this class dimension, I can quickly uncover that selling into the corporate class is our most successful source of revenue. Now that I've identified my most successful markets and companies with a couple easy clicks, I want to take a look at this in a different light. I now want to further limit this search and narrow down to my most successful company in revenue lines to see if there are any trends of customers who have bought old products moving towards our latest version. Like our pivot chart, I can start on a table looking at sales over a quarter and add additional dimensions to help me uncover why our sales are increasing and what's driving that change. Since I'm really focused on the big jump in revenue from my United States West location, I want to focus on that company for this pivot table. Now that I've narrowed down the results to my most successful location, I also want to break this out by my class dimension and layer on customers to see who my most successful and largest customers are and identify if there are any trends amongst those customers in my most successful class. Now, reviewing these results at my most successful location, I can easily identify who my largest customers are in my most profitable class. To summarize this information while looking at this report for that location, I can see that the corporate space has been my most successful in Q4. I can open this up and easily identify who my most successful customers are. But to really understand why sales increase so much, I need to know what these customers are buying and if there's any trends in what they bought in the past and what they bought in Q4. So I need to add the product we sold to this pivot report. Now that I've done that, the item is now available for selection in the sales by item pivot report. Now I can see that in the most successful class I'm doing business in, there's been a shift from our older products. The principal reason our sales grew in Q4 is that one of our new products has really taken off 
and has propelled the huge increase in sales. Now that I understand why and where the increase in sales is stemming from, I can look at our marketing and sales strategy and apply that across our other locations to grow our revenue.